Hello everyone, welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nagito. No. Something definitely happened to you, didn't it? You know, I'm actually recording this right after I recorded the last one, so if you guys have had like comments to say about like what's happened thus far, I haven't read it unfortunately, but I oh oh no. You know, now that I'm thinking about it. I know that I posed a lot of questions in the last recording that I did about, you know, was Nagito the only one to finish the final dead room? And I actually don't think that was what they said in the, in the dialogue. I believe they said that he was the only one to finish with the hardest difficulty. So now I'm thinking that maybe that actually did happen and this was all set up and, and other things like that. And now, yes, Nagito, what are we going to do with him? What are we going to do? Ugh, I feel like at this time when we're losing all of our friends, we really need to get him to a place where he's going to be on our side. At some point during the investigation, your behavior became even weirder. Oh, are we going to talk about that right now? Because this is kind of a pivotal moment. We've pretty much all just started to suspect Gundam. And I'd, I'd, I'm flabbergasted. Maybe there was a hint in there that I didn't see. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe I just think Gundam's so good that I just honestly was blocking it out and not looking for it. What? What actually happened? Did you discover something? Oh dear. Boy, did he ever. <laughs> You're not gonna tell him still? I wonder if he ever is gonna share it. Well, let's just leave that fun for later. Oh. And finish this opening act already. I, uh, I suppose now isn't the time to talk about what Nagito found out, although... Whatever it is that he found out... It might be nice for Gundam to hear before, you know, ah, the inevitable. You said opening act again. Oh, who cares? Shut up. Uh, please hold on. We have yet to hear Gundam's rebuttal. It's gonna be another thing, isn't it? Oh dear, it's gonna be another trial where someone's sticking up for somebody else because they just don't want to believe. This happened with Pekko and Fuyu too. No. Except this time, Sonya really wasn't collude into any of it. She has no idea. She just doesn't want it to be true. Gundam, why? Especially why Nekomaru? I thought that everyone was friendly here to each other. Well, except Nagito, but he doesn't count. But he's completely shut up. Perhaps he can't argue anymore. Maybe he just doesn't know what to say, because your big mouth is flapping. Gundam? Say something. Please. Gundam! Really? I feel for Sonya right now, really. I do. <laughs> I was simply at a loss for words after being dumbfounded by your pathetic assumption. I really liked his laugh just then. These voice actors need to be commended. They are so fantastic. In fact, I shall deny the very basis. Your assumption has been wrong since the beginning. Why did you put the highlight on ass there? Okay, well, it's none of my business. Just saying. All right, so he's saying no. Since the beginning? Well, let's hear about it then. What did we do wrong? Based on your assumption... Yes? I hung Nekomaru from the fourth floor of the tower and made the floor descend to the first floor. Uh-huh, that's what we came up with so far. From there, after returning to Strawberry House, I was present when the alarm at the lounge went off. Correct. That's also, I think, what we've garnered, yes. Although going to and fro is busy enough as it is, how would I be able to travel between both houses anyway? How would I be able to travel between both houses? Right, because the elevator was broken, door was broken. But then how did Nagito get around? I see. Must the have been that. Elevator was broken. Whatever those are. As I recall, the killer tampered with the grape house control panel, which shut down the elevator. True, true. Plus, the stopped elevator should have been facing the grape house side. Okay. If so, the human who used the elevator would have left it at grape house. So here's the thing. Do we trust that Gundam has done the final dead room puzzle? And if he has, can we also trust that he was privy to the same thing that Nagito was when Nagito just appeared out of the damn floor? 
I'm a, I'm assuming that's what they want you to For go with. For these reasons, it's an indisputable fact that the killer destroyed the elevator at Grape House. Yeah, that that that's the truth right there. And what's wrong with that? That's the truth part. If the elevator was broken at Grape House, he wouldn't be able to return to Strawberry House. Right, I get that part, but there's more. However, I was already at Strawberry House. I was present when the alarm in the lounge started ringing. I guess it depends, like, how good those... What is it, like, a tunnel? Passages? I don't know what's it under there, but... It means your assumption is clearly wrong. I cannot even remember at this point what was under there. I guess it's just, like, secret tunnel or hallway. Are you serious? And here I thought it's already been decided. Hmm. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson, pitiful humans? You cannot overcome this contradiction. Okay. That's wrong. When something is obviously wrong, that's when a contradiction is born. There's no such thing as a contradiction that can't be overcome. Oh. Okay. Alright, what are we making our argument about? Good night, button, foo you, wall clock, contact elevator, radio clock, broken doorknob. What? How is any of this working to what we want to talk about? Aren't we talking about how we got here? That elevator was. Yes. The only means of travel between the two houses. No, it wasn't, though. As long as that elevator was broken, <clears throat> your assumption collapses. Collapses. Plus, the elevator was broken at Grape House. Okay. If the killer cannot return to Strawberry House... Right. Since I was at Strawberry House at that time... Yeah. There's no question that the following crime is impossible. Okay. It would have been different if they had an accomplice. I don't think that's the case. Or if there was a secret passageway. Oh, oh How much shoot. How longer do you plan to let You know what I have me? to do? Why don't we stop this already? I bet you I have to grab that secret passage. Contradiction is when something is obviously wrong. There's no contradiction I can't shoot through. I'm gonna find out what that is. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'll shoot through the contradiction. That elevator was... Alright. Let's grab it. The only means of travel between the two houses. Right. As long as that elevator was broken... So we're just gonna assume now that he traveled the same way not even did. That's, that's all we've gotta do, I think, at this point. Plus, the elevator was... broken at Grape House. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to go too fast because I know it's at the end. But return to Strawberry House. I don't want to miss it. Since I was at Strawberry House at that time. Yes. There's no question that the following crime is impossible. Gundam, I don't want to. It would have been different I if they hadn't I doubt you. It's hard. Or if there was a secret passageway. This is what I need. I bet you How anything. How much longer do you plan to lecture me? Don't worry about it. I... Why don't we stop this? All no, right? I want to keep you around. I don't want to end this. Can't we just stay here forever? Yes, Hajime, I know. Let's get it. Should be right here at the start. That elevator was. I think. The only means of travel this. between the two. No, that's wrong. Here we go. Gee, that was a tricky one. Shit. Break. No, there should have been another way to move between the two houses without the elevator. Okay, here it comes. What? A I don't even know if Nagito is going to speak up on this matter or not. Such a method does not exist. Or does it? Then why don't we ask the person who actually used that Oh, method? here we go. Nagito, you gonna tell us? Oh, we have to select him, actually. Alright. Is he just gonna be forthcoming with the information? Like, we don't know. You're the only one! Oh, Nagito, we need you yet again. Nagito, you should know. Yeah, you just appeared out of the damn floor. Huh? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb now, dude! Come on! Don't play dumb. Uh -huh. You appeared so suddenly that one time because you used that method, right? Why am I Hajime, though, guys? Why am I Hajime? Yeah, he just appeared. Nagito, why are you here? Oh, because I showed up. There's a secret passage connecting the first floor of Strawberry House to the third floor of Grape House. Right, right. Isn't that right? That's how they left the area, the octagon area. Is it right, Nagito? Tell us. Jeez. <laughs> Once again, I let the reserve course show up. Don't act like you still don't have a boner for us, though, because I totally know that you do. But you're right. There's a door on the floor of the octagon. I, yeah, the hatch. Which is on the first floor of Strawberry House. All right, so that's that. Is that enough? After I opened the door and went down, 
I beg your pardon? Oh, never mind. Don't worry about that. Surprise, surprise! Oh, yes. I ended up in the Monokuma archive, which is on the third floor of Grape House. All right, so that's how it worked. Meaning the third floor and the fourth floor are actually connected. Okay. Plus, once you've cleared the final dead room once, you can pass through it as many times as you want. Good to know. If they use that secret passage, they could have gone between the two houses as much as they want. I see. Infinity of the Oh, Gondom, don't! Alright, what's he gonna what say? If the killer was unaware of the existence of the final dead word? I have to be careful here because, like, I wanna get rid of the words quickly, but I also go so fast that I can't actually see what they're saying half the time, and I really wanna see what he has to say here. I hope I don't mess this up, though. There's no way they didn't know. Okay. Is that what you're gonna go with then, dude? That is merely an illusion you have fabricated from your own suspicion. Oh, Gundam, I don't wanna suspect you. <laughs> If you value your life, you should stop with your scrutiny. I don't like this. There's no way I can stop. Did you say? Oh no. Fight gonna break out? Don't make me angry. Oh. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Nice reference. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's see what he says. I'll try to do as, as close to the what they're saying as possible. Wire? Good night button. Tipped over pillar. Wait, this is a lot of shit. I don't How do I know? I gotta see what they say. Even if the turbid box doesn't exist. Oh my god, his shit's all over the place. travel through multiple planes. Oh. Provided you use a spacious worm. Oh my god. Oh god. However, how frail, frail I say. Oh, I have Your to go. Illusion. What? I can't Shall even I read the shit. The progeny of vile deities? Oh no. That's difficult. Oh shit, it's everywhere. The passage exists. Right? The secret passage was at the octagon. I'm gonna get in trouble here, I know it. Know the limits of your own reasoning! You say the killer went to the octagon? Yep. Don't bark, you cur! Oh no! Don't call me a dog, please. You don't want to drown in the maelstrom of blind confusion. What? At least pray to the key which dwells in the light! That's the only thing I could have shot. <laughs> he probably means try providing the evidence that the killer went to the octagon. Provide the evidence that the killer went to the octagon. Wait, is that the end of it? Or is there more? Because sometimes it's not the first thing you have to shoot, but maybe the second or third. But Hajime's thinking now. Maelstrom of blind confusion? What the fuck do I have to shoot for that? What? If that's the case, I should have it too. The key which dwells in the light that will break through the darkness. Know the limits of your own reasoning! Okay. You say the killer went to the octagon. Hang on. Don't bark, you cur! Uh-oh. If you don't want it's to drown in the maelstrom of blind, at least pray to the key which you know what? in the light! Uh-oh. This is Damn difficult. It. Okay. Think. I need it on this screen so I can think. It's gonna go back to the original topic. Sorry, Even guys. If the turbid box doesn't exist. It's gotta actually be the wire then. Planes. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. You use a spacious wormhole. The wire is a weapon, right? Did he get it at the octagon? Is that what they're saying? It's all we've got. The rest is all testimony and buttons and shit that's already there. <laughs> Wouldn't let me shoot that one. The secret passage exists. Okay. The secret passage was at the octagon. Okay. Know the limits of your own reasoning. You say the killer went to the octagon? Yes. Don't bark, you cur! <laughs> you don't want to drown in the maelstrom. That's Allow it, isn't it? What sword. a weird thing to cut. That doesn't even make any sense. I get it. He Hajime gave us the hint. To string up Nekomaru's body. He got that from the octagon, didn't he? I didn't even think about that. There's a whole manner of shit in there. The hammer that looked like the weapon. That too. And the chain on the door in the tower. And that. Those are all the items that weren't in Funhouse. Where did the killer obtain them? Hajime, that's real good thinking. The only place I can think of is the octagon. Right. I, that didn't even cross there my mind, the wire. Holy shit. Tools there. I'm pretty sure I saw stuff like wires, hammers, and chains too. True. All right. Since those items were used in the crime, there's no doubt that the killer went to the octagon. Okay. Oh no! 
No, the hamsters, they're getting upset too. If that's the case, no. they obviously know about the secret passage too, right? Okay. Uh-oh. No, 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 what's gonna happen to the hamsters though, guys? Are the hamsters innocent? Please tell me they're not included in the thing. No. It seems this is the end. Oh no, this is really bad. Normally we'd end up listening to Hajime lecture us with a very long summary of the case. Man, you used to be into that. Don't even start. But there's no reason to waste any more time on this opening act. Is there not? So I'm going to end this right now. Okay. Hey, what are you- Oh, Hajime's stealing your thunder. Just let him do it. Whatever. First of all, it shuts by up. messing with all the clocks in the building, Gundam tried to lure only Nekomaru. Got the it. elevator was probably broken by that point. Right. Thanks to that, Nekomaru wasn't able to go to Grape Tower, which was supposed to be the meetup point. I see. So he tried going over to Strawberry Tower, just like we did when we found out the elevator was broken. Yeah. Well, it's obvious. But you're talking very that. fast, boy. At that time, we didn't know the two towers were the exact same place. Right. Also, the button in Strawberry Hall wasn't broken. So he was easily able to enter Strawberry Tower. Okay. But surprise! Gundam was waiting for Nekomaru's arrival. Well, uh, hold on. If Nekomaru didn't go to Strawberry Tower, what would the killer have done then? That's a good question. Their plan was a balancing act of uncertainties. But even if they failed, they probably wouldn't have minded. You don't think so? What? I can just greet everyone the next morning as if nothing happened. And come up with a different plan. Oh, I see. I mean, yeah, they weren't really going anywhere. And without such a risky plan, they wouldn't have been able to lure him at all. True. I'm going to continue summarizing the case, okay? Did you just cut her off? Wow, rude. Through this, <laughs> Gundam successfully lured Nekomaru to Strawberry Tower. Okay. There's no way he could fight head on with the robotic Nekomaru. True. So by pressing the good night button, he rendered Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. Really? Is that really what happened, Gundam? Why would you do such a thing? There's no honor in that. You don't even- that doesn't seem like his MO at all. Hold on! You- what did you just say? Here we go. That I didn't battle? That's what I thought. It doesn't seem like his MO at all. Hmm. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with your face? Don't <gasps> mess with me! Ooh, look at this, we've never seen this before. Don't mess with me! I cannot ignore those words! Oh no, Gundam, it... calm down, dude, it's okay. Nagito, Jesus Christ, you have a real big habit of getting on everyone's nerves. Why are you angry all of a sudden? I get what you're trying to do, but still, dude, really? You fools do not understand! You don't understand at all! Then help us understand, Gundam, explain it. Ha! You make me laugh! After all this time, you still don't understand anything at all! Oh no... What's the reasoning? I don't understand anything. What does that mean? What's the reasoning, Gundam? Why did you do it? Tell me what happened. You've gotta know what happened. Something happened. It appears... I cannot finish just yet. Oh dear. Maybe I'm just a human destined for hell. However, I cannot finish just yet. Right. I cannot finish! Oh dear, okay. What do you intend to do? Good question. It's obvious I'm going to destroy your illusory assumptions. All right. Are you saying you still have more? You still have room to argue? I wonder if he's just going to scream at us at this point. Your words. You said I pressed Nekomaru's good night button. Well, wow, that really got to him, though, didn't it, that part? However, that button was on the back of Nekomaru's neck. To press it, I'd have to get behind him. True. It's not easy to get the drop on Coach Nekomaru. That's also true. Akane would know. It's even more difficult if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Also true, so it's all working against it. Just as I thought, truly frail, succumbing so easily to this simple argument, it was just a mere illusion. But what really did happen? <laughs> if you want to set me up as the killer, at least surpass your own human limitations. Oh, brother. Okay. What are we gonna do, Hajime? What are we gonna do? That's wrong, Gundam. Is it wrong? You're the one who's wrong. Uh-oh, Hajime, what do you got? 
<laughs> Such a wonderful line. It is. However, I cannot say that I'm satisfied. Okay. Listen well. I shall teach you two tips for making someone admit their defeat. All right. First, you must crush them with your own overwhelming power. Well, Hashmi's not going to do that. For the other. Yes, the other. You must provide a reason that will persuade that human. Okay, a reason. You have not fulfilled either of those yet. Okay. I guess you really don't want to admit it. Then, just as you requested, I will provide an argument that'll leave you no choice but to be persuaded. What could that be? What argument? Oh no, I'm terrible at this. What could we have left? I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crushed as David prophesized! I won't let you! Oh no. For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crushed as David prophesized! Show me the I'm just making my own- <laughs> I'm just making my Show own me rhythm the now. What do you mean the cadaver? I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wow, I'm missing a lot. Crushed as David prophesized! I know I'm I supposed to hold it down. You. For the Tanaka Empire! Almost Rhythm. got him. Crushed as David prophesized! Oh dear. For the Tanaka Empire! The Oh, the four really dark divas. So this is the end. What about them? No, 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 I don't want anything to happen with them. Even if you didn't get behind Nikomaru, you should have been <gasps> able to press the button on the back of his neck. No. Did the hamster press the button? Did one of the hamsters actually do it? Is that how he got the jump on him? Is that really true? No! As long as you have the power of the hamsters, you keep with oh, you! Oh no! You've gotta be shitting me! Oh? Oh, he, there's no way he's gonna be able to stand up to that, is there? Are you seriously saying uh, he used his hamsters to press the button on the back of Nekomaru's neck? Dude, he neck? commands them! They do whatever he says! Haven't you seen it? Of course that'd be impossible for a normal hamster. But it would've been possible for Gundam. Yeah, maybe the big one. In fact, we saw that with our very own eyes, right? We've seen it a couple of times, to be fair. Emissary of evil, in accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Pierce through Supernova Civil Fox Sandy. That's right, we did see the hamster press the button even just in here. And they knew how to do it. Truly, this is the skyline lamentation art of the demon mouse. Ha ha! Soon the door of destiny shall open. Now that you mention it, after Ibuki was killed in the music venue... All the way back then, eh? What? One of Gundam's hamsters retrieved oh, the piece of right. wallpaper from the baton lighting, right? Yeah, they've done some things, like, already that he's commanded. There are actually quite a few things they've done. They're pretty talented. Hey! With your friends and their exceptionally smart brains, oh, no. it must have been possible. No, this just keeps getting worse. How does it just keep getting worse? To secretly get one of them behind Megamaru and press the button on the back of his neck. Oh no. How about it, Gundam? Don't don't sound so condescending. This is terrible. This is a tragedy. Oh, and it, uh, I can't. <laughs> what what, Gundam? <laughs> Gundam, what are you- are, are you going bananas? What's happening? Not just myself, but you actually brought up how splendid my subordinates are. I mean, are. they are pretty good. I like them a lot. <sighs> I have no recourse but to admit it. Wh wait, what? Admit what? Admit what, Gundam? Admit it? Did you say you admit it? Did you? It appears I've obtained a one-way ticket to hell. Really, dude? Just like that? Fine! Then you must trample me underfoot and advance. What do you mean? Victory can only be built upon a foundation of corpses. What? You cannot find peace without sacrifice anywhere! Sacrifice? What are you talking about? 
Now trample this life. What? Trample it as though it were mere trash on the side of what the road. What are you doing, dude? That's not who you are. Pull the curtain strings of this worthless performance with your own two hands. What is happening here? Oh, closing argument. Okay, I love these. All right, let's do it. Finish the thought. No, don't give me that spooky ass room again, please. Alarm set for 5:30. Meet up because of the lounge clock alarm. When you press the button to Grape Hall, wrapping the chain around the doorknob, door to Strawberry Hall got destroyed. Who set the lounge clock's alarm? Oh, then it must be this. All right. Who was in the lounge since early morning? Don't think we have that yet. Here's Fuyu, but he already has the clock in his hand. Nekomaru, Fuyu sees him leaving. Fuyu's waiting. When did Fuyuhiko see Nekomaru? Hang on a minute. Did I do the right one? I'm gonna assume that that was the right one. Hope so. What time did Fuyuko see Nekomaru? Okay, we might not have that yet. Nekomaru comes walking in, he sees something with the hamsters. That can only be one person. The hamsters go noom. They're all over him. Nekomaru's weakness is... None of these things. Okay. Page... This is page five here. Okay, he's already asleep. Here's his clock here. Tying up with the wire. The wire wrapped around Nekomaru's feet. Nekomaru's feet. Chain on the doorknob. Do we really not have anything here? Page six. The killer destroyed what after leaving the tower? Grape Hall to... The killer destroyed what after- oh, after leaving, it was the button, right? Okay. Page seven. Now it's Grape. He's hanging. What was the fake weapon left at the tower? Oh, nothing here that we've got. Page nine. Walking back, here's the alarm going bonkers. Who gathered at the lounge? Oh, that must be here. The meetup because of the lounge alarm. There we go. All right, give me my stuff back. What do we have? Um, well, we could, I guess we could go with page nine. Nekomaru's hanging, he wakes up, struggles. Why did Nekomaru fall? It might be this. Oh no, that's probably beforehand. Honey heard something. I woke up at alarm set for five. Oh, the alarm set for five might be the one that we need back here. Let's go see. Oh, blimey. Thank God they give you like a lot of time to do this. Is it this one that we need? Uh, who was in the lounge since early morning? And then what time did Fuyuhiko see Nekomaru? That must be this one. Okay. Where else are we missing one? Nekomaru's weakness is... The good night button, but we don't have anything that shows that. The wire wrapped around Nekomaru's feet. Oh, right, maybe this. It was hung on the loop of the doorknob. Okay. All right, where are we missing stuff? What was the fake weapon? The hammer, but we don't have that. Everyone's in the lounge. He woke up, struggled. Why did he fall? Don't think I have that either. Oh, here's the last page. Who heard the rumbling noise? Well, Akane's right there. So it must have been us. All right. All right, let's get some more. What do we have? Hamster and murder. They did what to the alarm? The doorknob came off. There's the hammer one. Okay, so the hammer goes over here. The fake weapon. And then, where are we missing a part? 
This one's taking me a, a little bit of time. They did what to the alarm? The doorknob came off. Oh, the doorknob came off. Aren't, don't we have one for that? Why did why did he fall? Is it this one? Why did Nekomaru fall? Because the doorknob came off. Oh, that okay. Last one. Fuyuhiko can't sleep. Messing with the base, the contact elevator. Kiss the pillar, damn it. Hamster pressed it. Nekomaru. Oh, oh, oh. The hamster pressed it. That must be the weakness, right? The weakness for. Nekomaru's weakness is this. Okay, and then do we have one more? I think we have one more over here. Who was in the lounge since early morning? Fuyu. I Here's think that's everything it. that happened in this case. Okay. Here we go. Let's first go over the many tricks the killer prepared before they committed the crime. Let's do it. And then you better tell me why. First, they destroyed the contact elevator. Right. This separated Nagito and the others in Strawberry House from our group in Grape House. Right. Next, they lured Nekomaru out by himself by turning back all the clocks in the fun house by two hours. Okay. Additionally, in order to secure an alibi, the killer went to the Strawberry House Lounge mm -hmm. and set the wall clock's alarm to 5.30 a.m. Okay. After finishing their preparations, the killer went to Strawberry Tower with the necessary tools in hand. Right. They obtained these tools from the Octagon, which you can enter once you clear the final dead room. This means the killer discovered the secret of the Fun House faster than anybody else. I see. That secret being Strawberry House and Grape House are actually the same building. Yeah. So at that point he knew. On the morning of the incident, Nekomaru woke up and headed over to Grape Tower for a specific reason. Mm-hmm. Because it was actually time to go. There, Fuyuhiko, who was at the lounge by coincidence, witnessed Nekomaru. According to Fuyuhiko's testimony, that was around 5 a.m., but... But it wasn't by really. By that point, the killer had already messed with our perception of time. Right. In actuality, Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 7 a.m. Jeez. That's also the same time Monokuma Taichi begins. Nekomaru went to Grape Tower to participate in that. This is crazily... This is an elaborate plan. However, because the contact elevator was broken, Nekomaru was unable to go to Great Tower. Right. So he decided to try going to Strawberry Tower. But the killer was waiting for him there. Oh dear. Oh no, the hamsters, no! With the power of hamsters, they were able to press the good night button on the back of Nekomaru's no, neck. No, now they're accomplices. This forced him to enter sleep mode, rendering him immobile. Oh dear. From there, the killer began preparing to use the ultimate weapon. Right. First, they set the alarm in Nekomaru's chest to 7.30 a.m. so he'd wake up. Okay. Then they tied him up with a metal wire, tied the tip of the wire into a loop, and hung it on the doorknob. Right, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. After leaving Strawberry Tower, the killer then destroyed the door button to Strawberry Hall. Right. They did this to keep us from entering Strawberry Tower and to keep us from discovering the secret of the building structure that they used to kill Nekomaru. I see. Then, they used the secret octagon passageway to travel to Grape House. Right, right, okay. After arriving at Grape Hall, they pressed the button to open the door to the tower. Well, God, it all makes sense when you've got it all laid out in front of you, didn't it? I did not see half of this coming. When that happened, the elevator-like floor of the tower began descending. Yeah. And Nekomaru's body was still inside, dangling upside down in midair from the wire. And they just left him like that from the way go. The killer entered Grape Tower to see if their setup was successful. And placed a hammer on the floor to look like the weapon, then wrapped a chain around the back door. Yep. This was done to make us falsely believe we couldn't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall. I see. God, this is really well thought out. Really. 
With this, the killer finished their setup and tried to go back to their room using the secret passage. Yeah. So they could craft their alibi when Nekomaru died from the fall. But something unexpected happened. Fuyuhiko, who saw Nekomaru earlier, was still at the lounge. Right, right. As a result, the killer couldn't return to their room, and with no options available, time ran out. Yeah, the alarm went off. Oh, Jesus. The lounge's wall clock alarm started ringing at 5.30. Well, actually 7.30. To avoid a worst-case scenario, the killer was forced to appear in front of Fuyuhiko with the others. I guess so. When the wall clock's alarm rang, that was also the same time Nekomaru was waking up. Oh, no. Oh, no. He woke up while he was still hanging upside down, so he couldn't help but sway his body powerfully. Oh, dear. Originally, the loop of wire was only supposed to slip off the doorknob. But because there was a heavier load than expected, the doorknob ended up breaking. Right. Nekomaru fell from the fourth floor all the way to the first floor. Bashed his head on the pillar. Oh, Jesus. He crashed into the pillar, which decapitated him on impact, and died. Ugh. The sound of Nekomaru's impact echoed throughout the funhouse. However, by this point, the killer's plan was about to fail, thanks to the broken doorknob and Fuyuhiko. Oh, dear me. Meaning, the killer is someone who wouldn't have heard the alarm if they were in the deluxe room. They also wouldn't have been able to return to their guest room, because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. Right. Oh, Gundam, why, though? I don't even that's think I want to know why. Is Gundam Tanaka. I can't think of anyone else but you. Oh, Gundam. No, the hamsters. They're sad. No! <laughs> splendid. Gundam? <laughs> that was splendid. For a mere human, you did quite well. Are you... What? Is he just admitting it now? Stop. Stop it already. Oh, dear. Stop using weird words to avoid the truth. She's not wrong. Or I'll friggin' kill you myself! Oh, okay, okay. I cannot believe it. I just cannot believe. Poor Sonya. You. you killed Nekomaru? Why did you do it? I cannot believe something like that! I know, I know it's hard. You don't wish to forgive me, do you feel regret? Gundam, what is with you? Then finish it! Cast your impure votes for Gundam Tanaka! Oh my god. He's gonna see it through to the end, isn't he? My beloved, deadly foes, let the voting time begin! Here we go. You better tell me why, though. How'd I do? I think better than the last one, actually. Well, technical-wise, anyway. Logic-wise, I still fucked up. Hey! Alright, I did pretty good. Yay. Hmm, this result isn't all that exciting. What are you talking about? It's the right one, isn't it? Now then, please pull the lever in front well, he doesn't of you like and the right one. your vote. He wants the bad one. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? I don't know. I ask myself that every day. Please pull the lever. What? Crap! I oh. bit my tongue at the most important part. Oh god, it's very relatable. I don't like that you're so relatable sometimes. God. Oh dear. Alrighty, Gundam. Guilty. Gundam, tell me why, though. I need to know. Alright. Class trial is at an end. Uh, it'd be bad if I bit my tongue again, so I'll speak slowly. Judging from the results... Yahoo! You guys were correct once again! Getting four in a row without any mistakes is a splendid achievement! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, the one who killed the robotic Nekomaru in the amazing funhouse! Yahoo! Was Gundam Tanaka! Nice! Yay, I said that all without biting my tongue! Now then, 
Now that we've decided who the killer is, let's do the execution already and get it over with. Wait a minute, I need to know why. Why wasn't it you? Hold on. It's true the class trial is finished, but that doesn't mean the incident is over. We can't finish until we hear it from Gundam. Jeez. Oh, no matter what he says, it won't change a thing. Well, I have no right to stop you either, so do whatever you like. Fall, my tears. Why do you want to talk to one who has lost? The loser merely leaves. It would just be unnecessary for me to say something. I don't think so. You can't cop out like that. You better tell me why you did it. Listen well. It's what I would like to say, but for honor's sake, I shall correct one thing. Correct? How pitiful. You guys said I made Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. That, however, is a great mistake. Huh? Fine. Nekomaru did fight. That is no mistake. And because he fought, he lost and died. D damn it! Lost and died? This too. If must he be was just trying to cling causality. to life, there are many ways he could have done so. However, he did not allow it. You. What do you mean? Explain. <laughs> Fine, then I shall reveal it all. Let's make history. Within the final dead room, I discovered the secret of the fun house. And I devised a killing plan utilizing that secret. By tampering with all the clocks in the building, I succeeded in luring Nekomaru to the tower. And this is what happened. Ooh, look at this. Nekomaru and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. Huh. I should say I expected as much from Nekomaru. He sensed my subtle killing intent and instantly understood the situation. And we had ourselves a stare down. But why? This looks so cool. In that situation, if he wanted to run away, it would have been easy for him to do so. He could have run away or even called for help. But he did not turn his back to me. Instead, he chose a fight that risked life and death. That is... A fight that risked life and death? Let me tell you He was this. serious, too. He gave his all to try and kill me. Huh? But how did he... How did it come to this? <laughs> I'm not saying you're not strong, Gundam. It just doesn't make sense. If I had died instead, the mystery surrounding the case would have been even more complicated. What does that mean? You would never know why I, the victim, went to the tower by myself. I can see it! Nobody would know that the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing. You planned all this, but why? Could it be? Nakamaru really did that? Sensing even my subtle killing intent, as expected of you, Nekomaru. What's happening? The scorching, stinging, tense atmosphere. I've been a team manager for so long, I'd nearly forgotten this. Okay. This is great! Oh. What a comforting atmosphere! Of course you would like it, oh. Hmm, that's a great line. Why is he so calm and collected? And what is your reason? Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? <laughs> I am the Warlock, Gundam Tanaka. Heroes, Lords of Darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. Right. I need not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. What? That's not like you. <laughs> You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter end, huh? Splendid! Oh no. In response to your spirit, I shall kill you with all of my might. I won't go easy on you. Don't even think about holding back. Oh dear. Don't waste your breath on cowardly tactics. Give me everything you got. Why? Nekomoro Nidai, your blood will drench the foundation of my empire! What? Why him? That is... That was like the hardest target you could go after. Why? Why did you fight? We are all friends. Why couldn't you stop this? Even if both sides agreed, 
It was still wrong. <laughs> I will not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. Let me tell you However, this. I must say this. What's the point of living if you're just waiting until you finally die? You weakling! There's nothing courageous about that. That is abandonment. A mere feeling of resignation. What? Wait, are you telling us to just wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Is that what Gundam was talking about? He couldn't stand the fact of everyone just waiting around to starve? So he made something happen? Huh? Do you mean you'd rather die? Fall, Ever since tears. we were locked inside that building, everyone had been dominated by that feeling of abandonment. However, nothing is born from resignation. That is simply a reason to give up. If you flinch, you will die! Giving up on life? That is an insult to life itself. Let me ask. Have you fools heard of the term dog eat dog? Um, cannibalism? Fine. In zoology, cannibalism is a commonly observed phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan engage in cannibalism. Listen well! That is what it means to live. If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call giving up on life itself? I shall engulf this world. If a world would consider that justice, then I will fight that world with every last fiber of my being. Giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but a blasphemy towards life. I renounce you! It is a violation of the natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. You... Are you saying all that just to try to justify what you did? But... It sounds like Nekomaru felt the same too. That's why they fought, right? Damn it. Ugh. So were they... Did they face off to try and quote-unquote help the situation? Fine. Did they realize that they had to make something happen in order to save everybody else? Is that what they're saying here? That man had the courage to die when he needed to die. That is why he challenged me to our battle. <laughs> Regardless, as I've already said, I do not intend to force my values upon you fools. I have betrayed you all. That is the absolute truth. Fall, my tears. But even so, don't you think it's a better alternative to slowly starving to death here? Oh, that belief is why you committed your crime? Gundam, did you really do this to save everybody else? You... Hey, what about the final dead room? Did you do the Russian roulette too? Let's make history. Unlike Nagito, I only did it once, but... <laughs> <laughs> Compared to my battle with Nekomaru, that was mere child's play. I see. Well, you know, after listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that... Well... It's also because you unexpectedly admitted your crime without much resistance. Gundam, don't tell me. You didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? Maybe they had a thing where, like, I don't know, whoever the winner was? But technically, both of them would be sacrifices in that case. They both decided to be the sacrifice because somebody had to die to get the thing rolling, and somebody had to be the killer. Is that what they agreed on? Did they actually agree? <laughs> I can't believe you would ask such a foolish question. My name is Gundam Tanaka! Who do you think I am? I'm Gundam Tanaka, history's greatest monster. My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. There's no way I'd sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. Fade like dust not in a million, in not in a billion, not in 10,000 billion years. In the name of pandemonium, it is impossible. Is that it? Then, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> now then, let us be rid of this foolish talk. It's about time the fun started. I think he's not being truthful. I think he actually did do it. Like th like what we've said. <laughs> he's acting tough now because he wants to go out in a blaze of glory. Probably doesn't want us to feel sad. Yes, indeed! Yay, got it! <laughs> I have prepared a special punishment for the ultimate breeder, Gundam Tanaka. Please, wait! Wait! This is just too much. Oh, Sonya. I beg of you. Please, Monokuma. Please help Gundam. Huh? Miss Sonya. I beg of you. Please, I beg of you. 
How pitiful. Sonia. An act as unrefined as stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble such as yourself. Uh, Gundam. Hmm. Uh, it's fine to start for real, right? Fine. Yes. I do not mind, however. What is it, my four dark devils <gasps> of destruction? What are they gonna do? Are the hamsters gonna get killed too? Are you worried about me? Oh no. Oh, my feared four dark devas of destruction. That is not like you at all. Oh, they are worried. I'm gonna cry. However, there is no need to fear. In this world, I am only a temporary visitor. No. I was simply visiting for a moment. And now that my duty is complete, I must return to the darkness. Oh, dear. That is why, until the very end, pride, conceit, courage, insolence, fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing. I hope you're right. Let us laugh uproariously. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is Gundam Tanaka! I shall stick with my evil until the very end! Open Sesame Pandemonium! I shall fill hell with true hell! Holy moly, dude. <laughs> no one's gonna forget you. Like nobody. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Oh, I hope the hamsters are safe. Oh no. What's gonna happen? I can't even watch. Game over. Gundam has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Oh dear me. Lots of animals, lots of fruit. Gundam Tanaka Stampede, Ultimate Breeder, something something. Is this gonna be like the Lion King? No, no, no! No, the hamsters need to be safe! They're scared! No, I hope they're gonna be okay. Gundam, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna stop the animals, Gundam? Make them make them obey you. Do something. Oh dear. Oh no. No! No, they all ran up to him crying. No! Oh my gosh. What is this? Little angel animals have taken him. This is so sad! No, don't cry, little hamsters. No! Gundam! No! No! Oh my gosh. That was horrible. Big time crying right now, not even gonna deny it. This is awful. Even after Gundam is gone, the spirit of his parting words still lingered deep in our chests. Don't give up on life. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Then what's the right thing to do? I don't know. No matter how much I think about it, I don't know if I'll ever be able to answer it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! I'm so pissed off. I need to throw something. D damn it! Y'all spent so much time worrying about each other, and thanks to that, things ended up like this. You're all full of shit, every last one of you. The biggest piece of shit is me. The worst. Damn it, why am I so weak? This is terrible. Oh. Such a downer, clearly. But still, even though we feel this way, we still gotta do our very best. You are right. It's the only way to honor them now. This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live and believe in our friends. If not... You are right. Gundam will most likely crawl his way out of hell, and I presume he will be very cross with us. Oh no, Sonya, she's crying. 
You're right. You're right. We shouldn't just stand here. I mean, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. We still have to finish this. For the sake of our friends who have died, we need to finish this once and for all. So, don't just stand there. Stand up and walk. Move forward. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. We can't allow it. Hey! Hey! Uh, how long are you guys going to stand around chattering? The class trial is over. It's okay for you to hurry back to Jabberwock Island. <laughs> However, the Killing School trip will proceed as usual, so make sure you know it. Wait! Hold on! How, how much longer are you going to keep doing this? Seriously, how long is he going to keep doing this? How long is this going to continue? Now then. <laughs> Alright, after feeling down for so long, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Hey, hey! Hold on a sec, that mood shift is too damn fast. It's not like that. Well, you know, it's like Gundam and Nekomaru said. <laughs> That's what it means to live, right? Everyone's crying, though. Look. Huh. Kane. Huh. <laughs> She's certainly something else. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I'm starving. Hey, hey. Let's go back for now and eat. And then after we're full, let's sleep as much as we want. Right? And then let's do our best again. Yeah, you're right. I can't. No. No. Nope. With this, the class trials come to an end, and once again, we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group has definitely diminished. But despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism was only superficial. But at that moment, we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. However, the only thing I was worried about was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly disappeared from our sight. Naito? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely lucky. I never expected to obtain so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian Roulette. <laughs> Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy. And before everyone else, too. But it's just too funny. I mean, no one could tell that I was lying. There's no way the file had just Hajime's information. I thought so. Oh no. What does he know? Well, I guess they were too busy with other matters. Or maybe they've reached their limit. How regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. <sighs> oh, anyway. I can't forgive this. Damn it. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stops it. Once and for all. Even if it costs me my life. It's obvious. For the sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. Nagito, what are you talking about? Monokuma appears! All right, Monokuma has arrived. Who summoned me? Now then. Thanks for coming. What's this? Why, it's the lonely little Nagito. Are you all alone tonight, too? What's the matter? Uh, what's up? Your face looks scary. <sighs> I see. So you can tell. Hmm? Uh, perhaps you found out who the traitor is? <laughs> you know me well. Wow. Is what I'd like to say, but unfortunately I haven't learned that yet. Hmm. I see. So even though you don't know, huh? Looks like the final showdown is going to take a little more time. Wow, so he doesn't really know, even after looking at all that info. Hello. So why'd you summon me anyway? Were you finally going to confess your love? No, that's for Hajime, not you. Hey. I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final dead room. Hmm? Oh yeah. Uh, what about it? There was information about 16 people in the file I received. But isn't that weird? Say what? Uh, what's weird? You don't even know? Well, there's a traitor from the Future Foundation hiding among us, right? Including that person, 
The total number of students should be 16, right? Isn't that right? But this file contains documents that were created at Hope Speak Academy, right? Of course! Uh, that's right. I just reused the stuff that the former headmaster spent a lot of time making. But... If this file even contains information about the traitor... Was that person also a former student of Hope Speak Academy? Who knows? <laughs> I wonder. Hey, could it be? <laughs> Is this your doing? Did you slip false information into the file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information? Were you? Hmm? What's wrong with that? Oh. Uh, it's my job to heat things up. It's okay if I do something small like that, right? Well... That's not my point. Right? My point is you already know who the traitor is. Well, of course he does. He must know. Hmm? What's wrong with that? You're getting all right. Well, up. you were splendidly correct when you said I knew who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? Hmm. It's just like Monami after losing her magic stick. The traitor's existence means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> Their existence means nothing, huh? No, no! Uh, well, that's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. Shing! After all, that person is the evil Future Foundation's lackey who's putting you guys through all this awful stuff. <sighs> that's not entirely true. I didn't really come here to fight or anything like that. <laughs> Instead, I came here to offer my cooperation, you know? What is he doing? Huh? Cooperation? Hey, your purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? That's why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, right? Yep. Yeah. I... If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat too. Right? However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. Hmm. I see. Interesting. Very interesting. No, no, no! Obviously, that's a big no-no. I mean, I want to make everyone in your group feel despair. That includes you too. Well... Well, I knew you'd say that. Hmm. Oh, besides, I just wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably betray me later on. <laughs> just as I thought, you saw right through me. You're right. No matter what situation I find myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope that shines brightly, step ladders such as myself and despair exist. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're a true believer of hope after all. I must say, the belief reminds me of that person for some reason. Huh? Reminds you? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, but someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person. Man, they must be extremely unlucky. Like... He's talking about Makoto. Uh, but you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this. Well... Am I? I actually think I'm very lucky. Say what? Huh? You don't know? Wouldn't you say that coming across this much despair is a rather rare opportunity? I can't rely on anyone on this island. That's why I have to be the one who does it. If I can eliminate despair, I won't be a stepladder anymore. I'll become true hope. I'll become an existence that couldn't even be called ultimate hope. <laughs> <laughs> the two of you are alike. You definitely remind me of him. Hey. Hey, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Hmm? Uh? See? Who are you waiting for on this island? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone. Is the person you're waiting for already on this island? Whoa, what is all this? Hey. Well, answer my question. The, that's... If that's the case, if that person is already on the island... <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? Hmm. What could all this mean? Also, this episode is very long. I'm so sorry about it. Alright, the bomb. Set us up the bomb yet again. Five days left. Not that much. Good Christ. Chapter 4 The End Oh lord, this is not great. I will see you next time, guys. For Danganronpa 2. <laughs>